राधा कृष्ण चंद्र की जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा मई की शिला प्रभुपाल की गौर भक्त वृंद की सो लेरस प्रेट व लॉर्डशिप लॉर्ड कृष्ण जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा मई From Iskand Sheshadri Puram, and we will start with our prayers. You can chant along, or you can just listen to the prayers. Om Agniyana Timiran Dasya Agniyana Jana Shalapya Chakshuram Yogitam Nilat Enamaha Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Krishna Yogitale. नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातिदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैतगदाधर श्रीवासादि गौरभक्तवृंद so we we'll dedicate our session to His Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri La Prabhupada, from the Raja Bhai of Iskcon, and which is inspired by His Holiness Jai Pratap Swami Maharaj, who is the government governing body commission, and is a spiritual master in Iskcon. So we we'll start with chapter eight. But before we could start with Bhagavad Gita, there is something called a Mahatmya from Sri Vaishnavya Tantra Sar, and this talks about the greatness of Bhagavad Gita. So previously we uh, had heard about Chapter Seven of Bhagavad Gita, and now we are moving towards Chapter Eight, where Krishna is talking about attaining the supreme. So, before we could start the Gita Mahatmya, Gita Gita hya pusta kam yatra nitya patascha vartate tatra sarvani tirthani prayaga dini bhutale. So here the greatness is that all the holy places in this universe, such as prayaga, which is considered as one of the most holy places, are eternally present wherever the Gita is. The eternal book of divine song is present. So, how many of you know Canada here? A few. Okay. So, Manali. Yeah. So, we would go out to do book distribution. Sometimes we would uh, distribute the books in the streets on the streets here. Uh, many a times we've done it here in the local areas, and uh, many of the Hindus, when we ask them to buy, uh, ask them to buy Bhagavad Gita, they say, Manali there. 
ಪೂಜೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೊ ದ ಬೆಟರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೂ ಪೂಜಾ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೀಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಗೀತಾ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ area i mean the uh, entire uh, place becomes auspicious and not only that so that is also good but if we make use of the bhagavad gita because the bhagavad gita is just like a manual for this human body right so this way we in fact take the bhagavad gita and uh, make use of it by listening to the instructions given by lord krishna himself so here attaining the supreme so this attaining the supreme so we've heard of this uh, in the previous verse uh, in the previous chapter chapter 7 about uh, krishna being the source of all living entities and how uh, janma mrityu jara vyadi dukkha dosha so this this material world is full of misery birth death old age and disease so everyone goes through this cycle is there anyone uh, over here who is bereft of these four stages birth death old age and disease no no one so here in eighth chapter krishna is talking about attaining the supreme or what we very um, famously know about uh, the art of living so when bhagavad gita eighth chapter is understood it actually tells us how we have uh, we know the art of living and how we can live the art of living and this is also the art of dying as well so dying also is an art right so hage if we understand that the entire human form of life is to prepare for our death right so that because whatever we do in our entirety of life okay that reflects in at the time of death death right because just like how uh, a boy uh, i mean a student in the school he studies the entire year and gives the exam at the last the final exam to just finish most of the school, i mean all the schools have finished final exams recently right so that final exams determine what is the outcome of the end, the the students uh, behavior the kind of uh, intelligence uh, this uh, on a particular subject all this is ascertained right that is all calculated in terms of marks whether it is actually um, you know it's working out or not but that that is how uh, the entire thing is working in this uh, aspect just to give us crude example a very simple example that is how it is so chapter 8 is attaining the supreme how we can attain the supreme is what we are going to look into this krishna says in the bhagavad gita antakale cha mameva smaran mukva kalevaram yah prayati samadbhavam yati natyasta samshaya so can someone read the translation and whoever at the end of his life meets his body remembering me alone will at once taste my nature of this there is no doubt yes so at the end of one's life remembering krishna is the biggest of exercise that we have to give to our whole body mind intelligence all our senses okay and here one of the greatest devotees of krishna um he says my dear lord i pray that the swan of my mind may immediately sink down to the stems of the lotus feet of your lordship and be locked into their networks otherwise at the final breath my throat is choked up with cough and how will it be possible to think of you so thinking of krishna at the time of death that is a challenge if we have not practiced it right so even if a smallest of uh, cough or cold or whatever comes to us we will be 
we will just forget everything we will we'll forget krishna will uh, forget uh, chanting uh, will ch you know all that goes off what what will remain in our mind how and when will i get well soon right so we will do all the things possible to get back to our health right so similarly here one of the, the greatest devotees kula shekhar alva if anyone knows he is one of the authorities in the vaishnava line of uh, so th there he says that when my body is uh, you know fit and strong my dear lord i want to come and surrender unto you uh, please take me back because now i'm able to remember you so well now i don't know whether i'll be able to remember this well while my body is giving me all such troubles okay so that is the kind of uh, no uh, you know request or uh, plea uh, pleading the devotee does for the lord but there is a solution to it we will talk about it in few, you know for the lines no here we'll have to be very particular about what krishna is saying krishna is saying asamshaya yati nasti atra asamshaya there is no doubt what is no doubt when krishna says something no very definitely wrong in that or is there any ambiguity in that no right whenever he says asamshaya then it is without doubt and when krishna who is the authority who is the supreme lord when he is saying uh, asamshaya without doubt then it is something very very serious which is holding a lot of weightage in it right so here krishna in this special uh, uh, chapter uh, attaining the supreme he mentions this asamshaya asamshaya na as, uh, you know no na samshaya in many of the places you know and very certainly and he tells this after giving the instructions what it is and whoever at the end of life with his body remembering me alone will attain my name. and that is the same with anything you know and that is how the modern um, philosophers they say or the psychologists they say right uh, you uh, you are what you think of and you 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 manifest the, all the law of uh, attraction law of manifestation all that is based on these the principle of bhagavad gita so um, here it's very clear that krishna is telling something certain and that is ought to happen okay there is no doubt no doubt no doubt like how in one of the in one of the scriptures it is said harir nama harir nama harir namaiva kevalam eva kevalam certainly kevalam kalau in this kaliyuga nastyeva 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 gatiranyatha harir nama harir nama harir nama eva kevalam kalau in this kaliyuga nast there is no other alternate there is no other alternate there is no other alternate and they stress on that word because it holds a lot of um, importance right so harir nama what is that the name the holy name of lord krishna the hare krishna everyone chant along hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare this chanting of the holy name is hare eva kevalam kalau in this kaliyuga nastyeva 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 gatiranyata there is no other alternate no other alternate no other alternate and that is also very you know uh, reflecting in the bhagavad gita where krishna says na samshaya na samshaya when he tells something it is auto so next slide also here yam yam vapi smaran bhavam tyajat yante kale varam tam tame vaiti kaunteya sada tad bhav bhavitah can anyone translation Oh, 
without fail. No? So that is what Krishna is saying. Eva iti kaunteya. So tam tam eva iti kaunteya sadatad bhavi. So there is without fail, whoever thinks of whatever at the time of death, he becomes that. And there is history, there is reality which teaches or uh, teaches us about this act. Okay. And this, uh, we see it in our daily lives as well. You see, just like how uh, the moth, you know, that caterpillar becomes a moth and moth becomes a butterfly because the, uh, the caterpillar is always thinking how to fly, how to fly, how to fly. And over a period of time, by concentration on how to fly, the caterpillar becomes a moth and then it, it, it spreads out wings and it goes on, right? Flying. Same way, you know, at every so uh, we also have a have a lot of uh, uh, case studies you can say uh, based on true incidents true stories about how people who have thought of something at the point of death and they've become that okay one of the leading uh, politicians in our country was uh, you know he was a great man he was leader of a country but uh, he was so fond of dogs and he became a dog in his next life. And that is quite literal. Uh, so that is also one of the examples we find it. And of course, the history talks about it. In Bhagavatam, we have the ruler of the entire world, Bharat Maharaj, who is the son of Rishabdev. Who is, Rishabdev is uh, the Lord himself. Okay, In the human incarnation and uh, the son of Rishabdev is the king of the entire uh, Bharata and this word Bharata came to this uh, planet earth because of Bharat Maharaj. So Bha Bharat Maharaj, Bharata was a great, uh, of course, because he's son of uh, the Lord himself, he had all the good qualities. He was uh, chanting, he was doing all the tapasya, all the uh, required puja, everything. And uh, at one point in time, it happened so that uh, he wanted to renounce his entire kingdom and go into the forest. So, well, he goes inside the forest and he starts doing, uh, you know, Tulsi. Uh, he, he offers, uh, you know, uh, Tulsi to the Saligram. He baits the Saligram. He was doing, he was very, uh, engaged in the service of the Lord and at that point in time what happened he saw there was a deer who was a pregnant deer, mother deer was about to deliver but it came to the river while he was actually doing on the banks of that river he was doing some puja and, and at that point in time that deer was drinking water Immediately, the deer saw that there was a lion who was chasing and attacking this deer. So the deer jumps inside the uh, this river and somehow crawls in and does all those things. And but some way or the other, um, the deer delivers the baby right in the uh, in the in the water itself, and the mother deer dies. So what happens? Bharat Maharaj becomes very pitiful very compassionate because devotees are very compassionate. Even Arjuna was very compassionate in the beginning of Bhagavad Gita. He didn't want to kill anyone. He didn't want to kill uh, the uh, his own uh, enemies who are his own brothers. He didn't want to do that. But Krishna says, hey, you've got to do this. And that is how Krishna starts the Bhagavad Gita. Right? So uh, here also what happens? Uh, Krishna doesn't come. But he teaches a lesson in a different way. Okay. So this Bharat Maharaj takes care of the baby deer, just born baby deer. And he gets, he, he renounces the entire world. He renounces his greatest of luxuries. Oh, no wealth, no fame, no, uh, you know, uh, strength, no power, uh, nothing at all. No, he doesn't want intelligence, nothing. But he gets attached to this baby deer. 
because of his compassion or whatever nature, right? That devotee is having. But here, he becomes so attached to the baby deer that he completely forgets about his Nitya Karma of uh, worshipping the Lord. What happens? That point in time, uh, he becomes so attached to the deer that he, he is always you know, thinking whether the deer is taken, taken care of, whether yeah, uh, the deer is uh, eating something or uh, it's safe in some place, all of that. And uh, this way, he just thinks of the deer all the time. And at the point of death, he thinks of the baby deer, what will happen to it in my absence and leaves his body. And the all-merciful Lord, what did he do? He blessed Bharat Maharaj as per the law of nature. Okay. He yam yam vapi smaran bhavan. No? So they, uh, there, Krishna awards him a baby deer body in his next life. But here, the, there is a mercy of the Lord. What is the mercy? The mercy is that he remember he could remember his past life as a king uh, Bharat and as a devotee. He was. And he repents. He, uh, he knows his mistake now. And he doesn't want to repeat that mistake. Because he was all qualified to go back to home, go back to Krishna, enjoy uh, the spiritual world. But because he Forgot, I mean, he got attached to something material here in this material world. He forgot his actual position and then he regrets about it now. But he's very, very careful. Okay. So even in the body of deer, he starts meditating on the Lord. He starts uh, doing whatever possible ways to um, not to remember the Lord. Okay. So here, Krishna, uh, Krishna Again, with his mercy, at the point of death of this baby deer's body of Bharata, he awards him a, another human life. Because human life is the pinnacle of all the other living entities on this material world. Okay, Even Purandara Dasaro, in one of his uh, you know, songs, he says, Yambat Nalku Jiva so dasana go so hage so he because uh, so the lord grants him another uh, you know a, a body of a, a, a human being okay and and at this point in time also, he is very, very cautious. And by the mercy of the Lord, he also, he knows the uh, life of him being Bharat Maharaj, you know, his two lives before and the life before as a deer. And now he doesn't want to do anything. Be very safe now. And he says, okay, I'm going to do nothing. Okay. Do nothing externally. Even though he is a, a Raja Rishi. Raja Rishi. So a king, all the kings earlier were also very saintly. So the saintly kings like Bharat Maharaj, Kulashekar Alvar, like what I told you. And there are many kings like that who are ruling the entire world. Like, of course, uh, are all Raja Rishis. Okay? They are all very realized souls, but they are also executing the orders of the material world. Okay. So this way, Bharat Maharaj wants to externally uh, portray that he is a jada. Jada means uh, immovable. I mean, good for nothing, in other words. No? He wants to portray that he is good for nothing. So everyone starts uh, uh, disliking uh, this jada Bharata because he's just like a madman. He doesn't react to any of the uh, you know, any of the praise or you you praise him or you scold him or uh, you, you you do you throw stones at him. That's what, uh, you know, in Bhagavatam also the children, they used to pelt stones at him, but still he would just be like, uh, he, he would do nothing. 
he would just stay there. And um, one of the kings, King Raghuvana, while he was uh, moving along, uh, I mean, passing through the forest, uh, there's a long story to it, but we will get back to it later. Okay. So basically, Bhar Bharat Maharaj, so he is completely cautious and he's realized soul now and he completes all his uh, devotional activities and goes back to God in the uh, Jada Bharata, after the Jada Bharata life. So, Yam Yam Vapi Smaran Bhava. So, it goes on like that. Okay. So, anyone who thinks about, say, a person is attached to uh, his beloved spouse, okay, it could be husband or wife. So, husband is always thinking of wife, wife is always thinking of her husband. At the, time, at the point of death, what happens? If the husband is not a devotee of the Lord who is thinking of the Lord always, then again, punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam. So that cycle of birth and death, we will not be able to come across or come out of it unless we are attached, unless we are attached to the Supreme Lord. So of course, we have to be attached to the Supreme Lord and that is the, the roots, the very strong roots of course, the attachments are here, but this attachment should help us moving on to the Supreme Lord. That is actually yoga. That is the connection between us and the Supreme Lord. So the spouse, either the husband or the wife, should help the partner so that we could do perform devotional service together so that we could attain the Supreme without doubt. Eva. Asamshaya, right? So if one wants to achieve success at the end of his life, the process of remembering Krishna is essential. And what is the process of remembering Krishna? Can anyone tell? What's the easiest process of remembering the Lord? Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. So chanting the holy names, any other form? Sankirtana, that is chanting. Together, hmm? songs, listening to songs. Okay. Other way. And always remembering the pastimes, very nice. Always thinking of Krishna. Okay. Any other way? Of course, there's nine processes of bhakti, smaranam. Padasevanam, Archanam, Vada, you know, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sak, Atmani Vedanam. Uh, all those are there. But the prime, the supermost of all, all of this is Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu. Then Smaranam, Pad, Padasevanam, Archanam, Vadan, Vandanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmani Vedanam. All that comes later. So the point is to the simplest way in this Kali Yuga is. Harir Nama, Harir Nama, Harir Nama Iva Kevalam, Kalau Nastyeva Nastyeva, Nastyeva Gati Nanyata. So, this process has given by the Supreme Lord Himself in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 500 years ago to us. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is, if you are you know, new to understanding Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or the Vaishnava Gaudiya Sampradaya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Lord Krishna himself in the form of a devotee. So, okay, again, the, there are inner reasons why Krishna wanted to uh, understand how a devotee wants, goes through the feeling of a devotee to Lord Krishna. He wants to do, he wanted to understand that and to know what a devotee goes through or the feels through towards devotion of Lord Krishna, he becomes the devotee. And that devotee is Chaitanya, Chaitanya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the form of a devotee who is the Lord himself. Okay, So it is uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy that the one which is locked in the, in the most essential Vedas, right, that was let free to us. You know, earlier to this, the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra was awarded only to a certain sect of people, right? So that was uh, an offense 
in one sense to uh, chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Um, you know, uh, if anyone chants outside of that particular sect, right? So that is that was completely, uh, you know, f completely broken, I can say, and that was freely distributed to all of us, to anyone, anyone like the lowest of mankind, the lowest form of people, even the animals, you know, just by the animals listening to the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, they start dancing and uh, they, they also start being happy. They feel that kind of uh, happiness in them. And that is, that was also, ex I mean, that was also executed by Lord Chaitanya himself. Uh, well, he moved through the Charikanda forest, now called as Jharkhand. Now he was moving through one place and he was just chanting because his entire mission was that I want to spread the holy name across. So, Yare Deke Tare Koho, Krishna Upadesh. Whether I am talking to you and telling you to chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra out of my own capacity, I might not be qualified like that of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or like that of uh, the spiritual masters or any of uh, our seniors, even a small child, you know, if if a child says Krishna, uh, you know, Krishna is the supreme personality of God, it, now that one sentence is a preaching. That one sentence is chanting the, he, that child becomes the guru, you know, in a siksha guru of anyone who will, who is able to receive that instruction from that child, right? So that is the mercy that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given to us. You can also chant. You can also chant. You can also tell others to chant just by the instruction of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So that is how uh, we will be able to connect that to achieve the success, the, the ultimate success. Success is very relative, right? If I for a child, if I pass my second standard, I'll go to third standard. That is my success, right? And if I qualify in this football team, that is my success for a football player. For a cricket player, if I qualify to uh, the Indian cricket team, that is my success. <clears throat> so success is very relative, right? But ultimate success is when at the time of death, now, that is how uh, it is actually measured, your success. And how is that? It is very, very simple, silly, simple. But we have to take it with utmost seriousness. What is it? By chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra all the time. That is what even Krishna says. Tasmat sarveshu kaleshu maam anusmara yudhyacha mai arpito mano buddhir Without doubt. Can anyone read the translation, please? Another simple example, or example I can give of a mother who's taking care of the child, even if the child is at home, is always thinking, what is he doing? What is she doing? What is the child doing? Whether she or he is uh, playing or uh, reading, uh, eating properly, not eating properly, uh, playing outside, more doing some mischief, always thinking, even though the child is not physically in the presence of the mother, mother, mother is always thinking of the child, right? You all have experienced it. So, similarly, even you know, if, say, for example, even if uh, the child is in the school, for example, but whatever you see at home, maybe the shoe or the toy that was being played by the child, the moment you see the toy, you will think of not the toy per se, but your child, right? You see something and you see, or oh, you'll be able to relate it to uh, Nanmaga. Right? So we always be able to relate it that way. 
same way krishna says um, in 10th chapter he tells everything what uh, opulence of the absolute where krishna says um, you know uh, i am the taste in the water i am the fragrance in the flower i am the you know fragrance in the soil i am uh, the himalayas i am uh, this i am that he'll say everything you know uh, very nice saying that you know indra says i am krishna uh, i mean uh, indra says krishna is the supreme lord uh, brahma says krishna is the supreme lord shiva says krishna is the supreme lord and krishna says yes i am the supreme lord and how he says in through this entire bhagavad gita and especially in the 10th chapter where we'll understand the opulence of the absolute where krishna says i am here i am here i am here i am here i in women uh, i am the fame i am shri uh, i am the opulent the, the wealth i am the speech in women and in men i am the ability in men so there's you know particular shlokas that uh, define all all this so whenever we see the externally externally we are seeing that this is a zayami what shami tv but we are able to connect it to the lord and say that this becomes spiritual because we are you know using it this mic this everything in the service of the lord this also becomes spiritual so whatever you see in the lord if you you know engage that particular object whatever it is in the service of the lord that also becomes spiritual so there is no actual difference you know spirituality can be explain you know experienced here in this material world and elsewhere in the spiritual world also of course but here you'll be able to experience it by seeing krishna through his creation okay so tasmat sarveshu kaleshu mam anusmare yudhyacha mai arpito mano buddhir mam e vaishyasa samshaya so arjuna is you know he supposed to fight in the battlefield he supposed to kill his own brothers his own uh, uncle his own elders grandfather bhishma is there in the opposite sais pe ko na in the next one hour alone and yeah so in in, the, in that particular fight they are supposed to and you know uh, completely destroy the kauravas and at that point in time when he is completely confused yen madodo anta keldaga that point in time he say krishna says this and you, he he says you know they've already dead you know it will come in the future uh, you know chapters where krishna says they are already dead kauravas Kaur- are already dead in my vision if you i want you to be the instrument to take the fame that you have destroyed all the kauravas arjuna therefore you fight okay krishna heltane ad helad mele he'll say what i have told the entire bhagavad gita to you in the 18th chapter he says yat kurashva i mean he says whatever i have told the entire thing now you do whatever you think is right so that free will is given to us iga nan idu sari idu tappu idu sari idu tappu anta nan heltini ha this is correct this is wrong this is correct this is wrong anta nan heltini next yen andre we'll have to understand what is correct and we will have to execute it accordingly and that is what krishna says over here and krishna says you do your duty but you think of me you think of me in the background just like how a mother executes all her daily chores every ella kelsa no made martare so adige madbek madbeku they will have to take care of business they'll take care they'll have to take care of the household they'll take care like you all take care right and at the same time you're also thinking of your child in the background so same way we'll have to just put another personality called krishna in your life and that becomes spiritual very small change small little change and that becomes more spiritual in your life right so tasmat sarveshu kaleshu ma manusmara yudhyacha 
then how is it possible? Ananya cheta hasatatam yomam smarati nityashaha tasyaham so labaha parthaha nitya yuptasya yoginaha. Can anyone trans read the translation? So, how can we think of the Lord always? When can we think of Krishna? What are the activities can can we be doing? Krishna Pananta Navo Mindalan Pontivi. But externally now in Matati. Kirtane Madhwaga Mate Puja Madhwaga. Puja on the Pat Nimsha Ardagante Agovate. Adad Nantra. Yene Kelsa Shuru Madadro, Vishnan Nins Pondo Maru. Martha Martano Nines Pondo. Naito Mate. Do for him. Uh, yeah. So Nivela uh, Nivela correct. I mean, uh, you all perform your daily activities. No? And which is very natural according to the Shastras. Say, for example, a thief, Oba Kalla, Nan and Kelsa Madapokta in a Pai with Ratri, Yaragate, work Kadibek Mude. I have to go and rob a person's house at 2 a.m. in the morning, in the midnight. So I'll think of Krishna and do it. <laughs> Correct, right? So, uh, the one which is pleasing to the Supreme Lord and the one which Krishna wants us to do. Hathara on the activities. So, of course, whatever you do is also um, you know, relating to spirituality by performing your duties, your household duties. right? But at the same time, we'll have to understand whether the ultimate goal of whatever you are doing, is it is it satisfying the Supreme Law? That is also one of the measurements. Like how if we have to measure something, there's a measuring instrument. Allah. So there's a measuring instrument to measure the weather for the day. The measuring instrument to measure the density of water. Right? So similarly, there's a measurement to understanding um, how what is the percentage of my devotional service? New Kelsa Madle Beko, Anivaria, Made Martira, otherly Krishnan Yeshtar Paneaito, Hat percent Aita, Hanad percent Aita. Your dedication to Lord Krishna in whatever activity you do is it 10 percent, 12 percent, 20 percent, 50 percent, or 100 percent? That you will be able to, you are the best judge to it. And how will you understand? whether it is 10, 20, 30, uh, 80, 100 percentage by referring to the Shastras. Nothing we can do on our own, whimsically. So he will rob, but it is according to his own whims, or his own rules of life, according to him. But is it actually um, correlating to what Krishna is saying? So we should always get back to Shastras. Okay. So Guru, Sadhu, Shastra, Chakshuhu. So we'll always have to verify our activities through Guru, okay, the spiritual master, Shastra, the scriptures. Okay. It could be from Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, and all the you know, Puranas, everything. And uh, Sadhus, the holy men, the holy people. So, if there is any doubt in whatever activity do you do, you'll have to approach a senior person whom you are comfortable uh, speaking with. And uh, you'll have to discuss whether whatever you're doing is correct or not. Right? So, that way we will 
be able to so so ananya chet so by performing devotional service we will be able to perform uh, and do the activities which is pleasing to the supreme lord now um this is fine nan martini ella agogutte so this execution of work it has to be done from right from uh, our level to lord brahma brahma is also no exception brahma no avana kelsa madbekagutte avaru kelsa avaru madbekagutte what is his uh, kelsa what is work creation right he is the engineer of the entire universe so ಒಂದ್ ಒಂದ್ ನಿಮಿಷಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದ್ ಒಂದ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರೋದು ಅವ್ರ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ಅವ್ರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ವನ್ ಮಹಾನಂದ ಪ್ರಭು ಹಿ ಹ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದಸ್ ದ ರಿಲೇಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಸೊ ಇವನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಫೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಲೈಫ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ so we have to take guidance of guru sadhu shastra everything and here krishna is warning us of something what is it mam upetya punar janma dukha layam ashashvatam napnuvanti mahatmanah samsiddhim paramam gatah anyone translation after taking the great thought you are the yogi in devotion never return to him can say why so here alaya andre en nimge gotidya if you can mane mane andre one this one place a place of dwelling right so idu krishna has defined this material world eshtu pessimistic alva krishna we might think you know krishna is so pessimistic he is saying this world as dukha alaya a place of misery and the one which is not permanent right temporary world he says this allide nammane illi bande summane alva the purandara dasra helodu so he yav basis yav aadhar mele heltare idu aadhu on this basis and what is it he says ದುಃಖಾಲಯಂ ಅಶಾಶ್ವತಂ ಅಶಾ ಅಶಾಶ್ವತ ಟೆಂಪ್ರರಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಎನಿ ಲಕ್ಸುರೀಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸತ್ಯಲೋಕ ಮಹರ್ಲೋಕ ತಪೋಲೋಕ ಡೌನ್ ಟು ಪಾತಾಳ ಲೋಕ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ವೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಇಯರ್ the kind of luxuries uh, you know living entities are uh, experiencing in satya loka in uh, brahma's loka the happiness is like 10 hundred times more right so aa tara ondo happiness irutte aa tara ondo distress irutte yakandre the entire world is dukkhalayam ashashvatam so it is completely uh, temporary and it is full of misery then if this is if this place is full of misery then which place is full of happiness there's a question alva yavdu krishna loka vaikuntha goloka anta now helthu vaikuntha andre kuntha andre a place of misery again a place where a place of anxiety kuntha andre right so vai kuntha andre the place absence of anxiety this that is vai kuntha where we are always peaceful happy in the service of the lord and that is called vai kuntha alli de nammane that is the definition right swarga ಸ್ವರ್ಗ ಬಂದು ಸತ್ಯಲೋಕ ತನಕ ಸ್ವರ್ಗ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲಿರೋದು ಗೋಲೋಕ ಅಥವಾ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಲೋಕ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯೂ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಈಚ್ ಪೋರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಈಚ್ ಪೋರ್ಸ್ 
out of each purse of Lord Mahavishnu, one universe emanates. Lord Vishnu, when he breathes in, millions of annihilate. Saura, Laksha, universes, galaxies, millions of galaxies are there. Adala annihilate, completely stop out, uh, I mean, gets destroyed. And when he exhales, millions and millions of universes emanate. They, cre they get created. Of course, the credit also is given to Lord Brahma. Uh, just like how Krishna gives the credit of the victory of the battlefield of Kurukshetra to Arjuna, he wants to give due, uh, due fame, due respect, due everything to living entities like us. Right? This, and for us also, no? Success. Nano and Doddu Mane, one Doddu Nechesar Leotali, one Doddu Mane Katidin and then success. Alva. So our success in a one do end of in Zenirta, happiness and everything. That Krishna is giving it to us. Right? So Nina Karta, Nina very good. But you should not forget that I have given it to you. Right? Nin Mane Katidia. But Mane Katero Yella on the Yen Pekidio, that I have given it to you. So that we have to be always conscious of. Right? So even though this place is uh, places are full Dukhalaya, you no know, place of misery, which is very temporary, but there is something that very important task that is given to us. Yenado? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare. So by chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, we will be able to come out of this Dukkha, Alaya, Ashashvata and go back to spiritual world. And the, the definition of spiritual world is also given in Bhagavad Gita. Right? So he says... Uh, Natat bhasayate suryo, nashashanko na pavakaha, yad gatva na nivartante, tad dhama paramam mama. So, in that spiritual world, nothing material emanates. Like how in this world, we are able to see something outside because of the rays of the sun. Because the brightness of the sun, we are able to, our eye also is completely dark, so, so to say. Right? If there is no external light, then our our you know uh, our vision is also completely lost. So how is that we are able to see something outside because of the rays of the sun, so shun, sunshine, and that sunshine is also emanation of Krishna, and that is also material, right? Material. He he the living, but even that is not required. In the spiritual world, in the spiritual world, there is no moon, there is no sun, there is nothing external that will uh, illuminate the entire spiritual world. It is the Krishna's Lord, Lord Krishna's effulgence. It is Lord Krishna's own effulgence that illuminates the entire spiritual world. Okay, so he defines what is material. He also defines what is spiritual. Now. Ido Ashashvata, Ido temporary. So, temporary visa in the permanent visa, Madhve Kondre, and Madhve Po. Anta Kail there, Krishna, and Anta Hail there, usually. So, if I have to become a permanent resident of Goloka Vrindavana, what should I do now? Nani Vaga, temporary uh, tourist visa, visa, the Lil Bandini. Right. So, if I have to make a, a permanent residence, what should I do? Hari Nama. Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Hari Nama, Iva Kevalam, Kalo Nasteva, 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 Nasteva. So it all connects back to what we give the importance as, like what Prabhu uh, mentioned in the previous class. How should we start our day? With the most important task first, right? And what is the most important task for us? To take care of our spiritual life. So, 
just like how we give food to our external body, we have to also nourish our soul. Namatmaku ondo anna anta irate, uta anta irate. Yeno uta, yeno. I mean, very crude example I'm telling. Uta anta. So the one that nourishes our soul is the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. That is the fuel. That is the fuel to the engine of our our spiritual self. So we are not the material bodies having spiritual experiences. We are spiritual beings experiencing something material also. Right? So we have to understand this first. So we have to make sure that we uh, feed our soul first. Yadi Takshna first uta nama soul. Right? Nama adhyatmika kade. So Adhega Agate, the chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So this is the only uh, way out of this entire network of the material world. Abrahma Bhuvana Loka Punaravartino Juna Mam Upetya to Kaunteya Punar Janma Navidyate. Anyone translation? From the highest planet in the material world down to the lowest, all are the place of misery where in repeated birth and death take place. But one who attains to my abode, a son of Kunti, never takes birth again. Simple. Yananta Elton Krishna, literally. So, right from the topmost of this creation, Ah, Brahma, Brahma Loka Dinda, Bhuvana Loka, Bhuvana So, Punar Avati, so this entire Punar Api Jananam, Punar Api Maranam keeps happening until we get to chanting the Hare Krishna Mahaman. So, this is the only simplest way out. In the Satya Yuga, we had to do a lot of yagna, and for that yagna, a lot of ingredients are required. Um, Right, we had to, we, we have to pour, even now, we, you know, you want the Agna Madhve Kondre, Yeni Ladru, on the minimum Hadne Ipat Saura, simple Ag Madhve Kondre. On the two Archakan Kakumbartini Andre, on the Ivat Saura, one Lakshad Lakshad Lakshad. So, Yaknake. So, that, that used to happen in the Satya Yuga. And in Dwapara Yuga, it, it was uh, by penance, right? It was by uh, mm -hmm. by deity worship in Dwapara Yuga. In Treta Yuga, uh, it was uh, yeah. so it was Treta, yeah, yeah, it, through Yagna, and then uh, Dwapara it was deity worship. So that is how we find we are very fortunate to find all the great big big temples in uh, south south of India everywhere in in India, right, Bharata. Why? Because in Dwapara Yoga, that was the mode of worship where elaborately temple worship used to happen. Like in Sri Rangam, you know, the biggest temple of Lord Vishnu is there, right? which is being worshipped right now. So that is there. How? It's a very big structure and all of that uh, facility also was there. Hindin Kaldali Rajaru Adhikantane Ondashto Pantsna Kalek Madi Adhane because that was the prime motive, right? Because the new spirituality, we have to give prominence first. But in Kali Yuga, are our politicians are giving that prominence? Uh, right now, not so. Of course, we have this Ram Mandir that got inaugurated by by the, you know, by good fortune, we can say, right? But what is the real essence of even uh, not, uh, constructing a huge temple. Now the Prime Minister, he was telling, now that we have uh, constructed this uh, huge temple, construction is over. It's fine. But right now, what is, what is, what will happen next? The worship. So that worship should go on. And he's, he, he was more concerned about it. And that is what he, uh, you know, pressed his uh, concern on at the inauguration time, if you've heard it right. So that 
th that puja or whatever can happen only through the sankirtana and that is how all the vaishnavas from all over the land they come there and they perform according to to through their own ritual something but the aim the one point is that everyone chants the holy name to keep that spirituality alive in the spiritual in the spiritual place holy places like kurukshetra or dharma you know kurukshetra or it could be uh, ayodhya or vrindavan next right or it, it could be uh, you know uh, this kashi anywhere for that matter so what will keep the place alive it is the holy name of the lord so <clears throat> Death is very, very painful. Pane, uh, painful. Yes, to painful. Andre, if we have to uh, measure it again, <clears throat> if say some four lakh scorpions come and bite us, what is the kind of pain that we go through? That is the kind of pain one person goes through at the point of death. Right? That is the kind of intensity. Even if one scorpion comes and bites us, it is like misery. Right? But say some 40,000 scorpions come and bite you, know, what is the uh, consequence? So that is the kind of painful uh, experience one can have by uh, death. Now, if we have to come out of that kind of uh, excruciating pain, that is only through Harir Nam. So whatever we are doing day by day, day by day, is what is going to reflect at the end of our lives. And that is do by chanting the Hare Krishna Mahavantra and that is also here mentioned Vedeshu Yagneshu Tapasu Chaiva Daneshu Yapunya Falam Pradishtam Atyeti Tatsarva Midam Viditva Yogi Paramsthanu Paiti Chadhyam So a person who accepts the path of devotional service not bereft of the results derived from the studying of Vedas performing sacrifice undergoing austerities giving charity or pursuing Philosophy activities simply by performing devotional service, he attains all these, and at the end he reaches the supreme eternal labor. So we have different kinds of uh, ways to satisfy the Lord, as what we uh, discussed. But the supermost and the simple, very simple uh, way is by chanting the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. So, <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so engaging, engaging in Krishna consciousness surpasses all rituals and orders of life with a single stroke. Okay. So, it's too simple as Swamgade, you know, you, you might be startled, you might be confused. Solution is simple work out Agata, Anta on the doubt irate on Kelo generally. Right? But it is as simple as that. It is as simple as chanting the holy names. It cannot match the thousands of yagnas you do, the thousands of uh, uh, any other, uh, you know, you stand in the Himalayas on one leg or you want to chant uh, some other Kali mantra or something or some other mantra. Nothing is matching the holy names of the Supreme Lord. Hare Nama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So that is that is that is what the entire essence of this um, entire Bhagavad Gita eight chapter is attaining the supreme. So you can understand <clears throat> that Krishna is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Madilla and Runo, Nivo Barit, simple again, you Hare Krishna Mahamantra held the Sako, Adela Madiro and Punya Nim Sigutan. So it is not that you have to perform all those activities and then chant. By chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, you will be surpassing 
all those activities and more. And you, you will attain the Supreme. That is how it will be. Of course, uh, there was, uh, so there's a small short story. Uh, I'd want to skip it, but I'll tell it very quick. So Ajamila was a great a devotee of the Lord. Some way or the other, he um, sees a, 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 a society woman with some other men and he gets um, agitated. So what happens? He'll uh, he'll start getting into all the bad activities. He'll go and rob so that out of that robbing, he can get that money and uh, satisfy this, this, this girl and uh, he can get the pleasure out of it. And he thinks that is the right way to do and he goes on like that. But one thing that happened was um, he also had his wife. Out of his wife, they were children. And one of the child's name was Narayana. Just like now, so even a magun hesaru Narayana. So in Marda, almost at the end of his life, but uh, I mean, uh, at the end of his uh, life, death, what happens? He is calling his son, small son, Narayana, so that he can get, go and get water to his dying uh, body. Narayana, Bapa Ile and the Kirtan. Narayana, please come here. Narayana, please come here. So he is shouting, I mean, at the top of whatever voice he could, he could have. And he say, he calls out Narayana. And the all merciful Lord who is in the Vaikuntha planets, he thinks that, oh, my devotee is calling me. See the kind of mercy that Lord has on us. Causeless mercy. There is no cause for him to be mercy on uh, merciful on us, but he is all merciful. And what he, what he says, he immediately sends his Vishnu Dutas. Dutas of Lord Vishnu is Vishnu Dutas. And Vishnu Dutas immediately appear uh, on the deathbed of Ajamila. And because of all the bad activities he had done, the Yamadutas also had come there. Yama had sent his Dutas, Yamadutas. So there's a tug of war between Yamadutas and Vishnu Dutas over there. You can see here. So Yama, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. on the instruction of uh, Yama, Okay, who is again the devotee of the Lord? They are pulling, they are holding a rope and they are uh, you know, putting the rope uh, uh, around uh, Ajamila's body and he, they are trying to pull it out to pull out the soul out of it. But the Vishnu Dutas have come here there and said, Dare you touch him? Dare you touch him? Because Vishnu had, has sent us here. So that he can be claimed. Okay. And again, um, upon the request of Vishnu Dutas, the Yamadutas leave from there. And there is a, uh, what do you say? There's a Prana, a Prana, or Vapas Puto. So Ajamila understands, the realizes the entire thing. He thinks, okay, oh, such a foolish thing I did. Um, I should have part of and done activities of devotional service all my life and I got deviated but the Lord who is all merciful even though I've got deviated he has you know, of course he had done many many you know uh, many many tapasya for lifetimes before he could you know become agitated that is a different thing but the Lord was merciful he gets another chance he goes to Haridwar he now, this is the second chance to him. So, Prabhupada uh, has a small book written called The Second Chance. If you get to uh, buy that book, do that. And the entire uh, story is given there. So, Ajamila is given a second chance. Uh, he performs the devotional activities. And then, Lord Vishnu again sends the Vishnu Dutas along with the airplane. Himana. Where all the Vishnu Dutas respectfully claim Ajamila's soul and they go back to home, back to Godhead. So, here again, what happens if a devotee is not able to remember Krishna at the time of death? Now, at the beginning, we saw 
Kulashekar Alwar is saying, while I'm uh, you know healthy and fine, please take me, my Lord, because I don't know what is going to happen at the time of death. I don't know what's going to be my health condition. Let me know. Uh, please help me. Here, again, Krishna in Varaha Purana, he says something. No? What is the solution? What if I forget Krishna at the, at, at the time of death? Krishna says, Yadi vatadi doshena mad bhakto ma acha smaret aham smarami mad bhaktaha nayami paramagati. So, he says, I am going to remember you, even if you forget me. So if you put one step towards Krishna, Krishna is going to uh, you know, come closer to you 100 steps. So that way Krishna says, I'm going to be your uh, savior, not a problem. Don't worry about it. You just perform your duty. And our duty in this Kali Yuga is to chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. That is the common bottom of all the activities that we do. So just to recap, remembering Krishna at the time of death, attaining his nature, his, his nature we will be able to attain, not him. Like we'll not become him, we'll become his dasas. Of our servant, servants, remembering any state, uh, remembering any state. What's that? Uh, rem remembering uh, that is remembering of the Lord. Ah, yeah. So whatever state of mind you are at the time of death, that kind of uh, body you are going to attain for sure. Act and think of Krishna uh, of Him. So you'll also we'll have to act also meaning perform external devotional service and also think of Krishna. Think of Krishna in mind but also perform externally devotional service as well. So performing uh, temporary, so this Dukkale Mashashvatam, we discussed that. Performing devotional service to attain supreme abode and devotional service is the only way out, out of this material world and Sankirtana Yagna is Nama Sankirtana Yagna that we you know, jointly do, and that is what is going to save us. Okay, so yeah, so I'll just read the translation. Oh, Hari Nama, oh name sung by the sages, oh transcendental syllables that bring bliss to the people, even if you are spoken only once, and even if you are spoken disrespectfully, you at once remove the many harsh sufferings of everyone. They'll just make fun of, right? Sometimes, oh, you know, <laughs> so that is the kind of, they, they tell it with a very, uh, you know, disrespectfully, but still that Hare Krishna on Banda Pant Hiltarala, Hare Krishna, the word that he utters, that will save him from the greatest of dangers. Swalpam apiasya dharmasya prayate mahato bhaya. Swalpam, little bit of chanting of Hare Krishna mantra or doing some small little activity of devotional life. That is going to save us from the greatest of danger. That is what Krishna says in the fourth chapter. So it's all interrelated, connected. So any questions, uh, we will be able to take it. Else, Hare Krishna.